Okay. More NR. This guy's maybe playing like commandos. Okay. Hmm. Could be commandos, could be temple. We're pretty happy with this hand, I think. We have the Tempest, we have the Simless, we have the Philavandral with the Circle of Life. I hope it's not Commandos. Okay, it's not Commandos. So this is an Engine Overload deck. Defender Henselt Dandelion, oh lord. Oh lord. If I play this, this might get oiled, but I think I want it to get oiled now when there's no siege engines on the board, right? Or I could also like circle of life and buff this. Hmm. But I think I want this down. I think I just want this down to proactively so it can deal damage to one of his engines that he plays, and then we can actually kill a, th a five with a circle of life. <clears throat> yeah, now David, there's a bug. There's an issue in the game with some people. It's not affecting everybody. It's affecting some people where you can't find a game. I'm not really sure why. Um, But I've seen a lot of people saying they're on Android. A lot of people that have the problem are on Android, but I don't think it's an Android exclusive thing. But you could try with a different platform, like either with an iPhone or iPad or PC, like Steam or GOG, and see if there's any difference. It's not about why. It's about I'm why officer. not. I'm a gentleman. I oh, the draw. He's roping. He's roping. Oh, he didn't rope. He didn't fully rope out. So, I mean... Oh, dude. Should we? I could Talene in here into Simless Double Rebuke and kill this and this. We gotta win this round. We gotta win this round. I think it might be worth it. I row stack. Act your age. At two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. The sad thing about this is I don't have that much. I don't have symbiosis on the board, so I'm not getting like a lot of points from the the double nature card. But I think it's still worth it. And then we can slow down. We can slow down and still be ahead with like playing the Circle of Life and stuff. We've got a backup plan that helps a uh, combo with the Circle of Life to kill something and get Death Blow. Maybe we could save the Aquan, but I don't think we should. I think we should still actually still play the play the Aquan. And it might be better to play the Aquan earlier rather than later before he can deal too much like. A black Rayla does six damage right now. It's actually kind of scary. You stand before his royal majesty. You're playing your three highest provision cards all in round one. Yeah, I know. I don't care. For you, my friend. I don't really care. Winch, Carrick, Marine. Okay. You can't afford to zeal this. It seems. We are gonna play you. Okay. Um, hmm. Go Black Banner! We kill the dandelion? I mean, well, I can't kill this, is the sad part. I can't actually kill that. I can't, I can't kill him. I should have leadered a, a treant last turn.
Let's do this first. A little greed. <clears throat> if I if I had leader the three power treant last turn, I could have killed the Demoven. Now he's gonna winch the Demoven and then winch again and then click the Siege Master and then get the Carrick Marine. Would you consider playing another PvP game regularly, by the way? I've been away from Twitch for a while and not sure what you've been up to. Uh, I'm definitely not against playing another PvP game uh, on stream. I've played Apex Legends before on stream uh, fairly regularly. Uh, but it really ha would have to be the right game. I think we commit to Aquin. He's not gonna pass with this much stuff on the board. I, I I think this is like the crossroads. We gotta make a decision here. Like, are we playing the Aquin or not? And if we don't play the Aquin, I like Aquin is not that good in this matchup. She is gonna die to an Onseus later. If I try to save her for round three, she's gonna die to Onseus, right? Assuming that this deck does play Onseus. If I play her now, I might force the Onseus when our opponent's on blue coin, then that's fine. Hey, Bass aside. Yeah, I'm feeling uh, a bit better. Still, still kind of sick. I don't think we should be rushing to kill the Demoven. Okay, we get the Onseus. I demand the satisfaction! Now! I don't think we should be rushing to kill the Demoven because like he if we takes one more turn to set up to kill the, the Demoven with a the Treant, then like it's not even worth worth it, right? Because he can always reset like this with the Siege Masters. Uh la 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 la. So now it is time to do this. <laughs> Why do we play Frost and not Fog? Miamon, why? Why are you playing Frost and not Fog? Fog would be... I mean, Fog is like fewer points now, I guess. But if we played it earlier, it would have been able to kill one of the Siege Masters. Fog would have been able to set up this Radovid Death Blow. Like, Fog works well with Circle of Life as well. I don't know. I don't think I... like. You know, Symbiosis has been around for a while, and I thought the consensus back in the day was that Fog is better. Like, Fog would kill this thing, too. Okay, maybe not, because he's got the buff. But it would maybe kill it the next turn. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about some options here. I think we do that, and... I think we do this. We get a Trian ready to Pawn Keeper the next Revenant that spawns out at hopefully four power. Adalia? He plays Adalia in his rem. deck. Okay. I'm getting another four points, five points. I only need a seven to get ahead, right? Which sadly would have to be a frog mating season. I don't think adapt or or maybe adapt plus leader would be enough.
Can we afford to lose this round? I mean, we can if it gets really short. But we've already used our Simulus. Um, I still think it's I think it's better to win this round. Especially when we have two frog mating seasons. I would like to win this round without using the Philavandrel, if possible. That would be the best. But whatever we do, we should try to drag the round out. So he doesn't have a boiling oil, right? Ah, uh, how do I do this? Like, <coughs> how do we do this? We play Cat Witcher Adept on on a front row unit. Or we play, we play Frog Mating Season first? Well, if we play Frog Mating Season first, it might spawn the tree in the range row, and then I can't actually play the Cat Witcher Adept. So I need to play the Cat Witcher Adept first. I think we play the Cat Witcher Adept on, like, this big unit here. And then we play Frog Mating Season on, like, maybe this? Or maybe this? I'm not sure. I think maybe this one. Yeah, Frog Mating Season on this one, and then it double double speeds up this one, and then this one this one will get two Vitality per turn, this one will get three Vitality per turn, this one will get, like... But then we won't be able to play this Philavandrel. So if he, if he doesn't pass here, I think... If he doesn't pass here, we might have to pass. Oh, okay. Wait, we're ahead. I think we're ahead. I'm pretty sure we're ahead. No space for the Treant, though. Did I get a Treant spawn? I did not, right? I did not get a Treant spawn, but we are ahead. We're getting 12 more points in two, in two before we have to pass the round here. He did have an oil. Yeah, he, he didn't oil... He didn't oil this at the beginning of the game, and he could have oiled he could have oiled like this this other card to get rid of the vitality. That was an option as well. Come on. What's his last card? Maybe a brick? Like Radovid Judgment or Hubert? Or um I don't know, he's played Rafards, he's played Demavend, played Radovid, played on Seis. He's, he even plays a Dahlia in his deck, which is really strange. So he, she shouldn't play AA. He shouldn't be able to fit AA. It's a second oil. Did he need to use this leader charge? I mean, I guess, if he's scared that I have a unit, or I have a special, it would be amazing as if we had, like, an Equinox right now. But yeah. Sadly, we can't play our last card. Very, very sad. I mean... How many points did we lose this round by? Six? Okay. The leaders are not enough. We tried Clear Skies in this deck. That's the Robuff nature card? Uh, I have not. But it might be interesting. But the thing is, like, what do you replace? You can't really replace the Circle of Life, so you need them for the Phil of Andrew. What do I want here? I want, like, this card, this card, or this card. Okay. All the forest into something. All the forest into Pond Keeper, maybe, or maybe Dwen Canal Guardian. Pond Keeper can kill something. Like we still need to. Like okay, we can't kill anything. He has a defender. Never mind. So we don't want Pond Keeper. We can we can uh, call the forest into Pond Keeper, and then save this council for either Gord or for one of these two in round three.
He should still have a black Rayla. But, I don't know, maybe he had to cut her for a Dahlia. Playing. Ah, uh, okay. Both boiling oils gone. For some reason, you thought we run one Equinox? Oh no. Both boiling oils gone. I don't think I need to leader this. We're going to keep our card here. Just a matter of will we have units for the Equinoxes? Round three. Clear skies? Isn't it four? Are we thinking about- are we talking about clear skies or are we talking about thaw? I thought maybe you guys were talking about thaw. And he still has a Pencelt that he hasn't played from his temple. Pencelt and maybe Black Rayla. What does Clear Skies even do again? Wasn't it like... One of them... I think Thaw. No. I don't know. One of them was like... Buff every unit on your row by one. And it's a nature card. Right? But I don't remember if that's Clear Skies or if it was Thaw. That's Clear Skies. What does Thaw do? Oz boost and give veil. Yes, okay, you're right. Boost and give veil. Uh, just keep this hand. Fine. The only Follow good this. human is a dead. And we play like an Equinox on this, or maybe we just play Pawn Keeper next. No Mulligan for other Equinox? Nah. I think it's fine. I don't think we need to get too greedy. <clears throat> I should have leadered this though. That was a bit of a mistake. Uh... Can we get away with leadering this now? Like, how is he gonna? He has another leader charge. Can we just. I, th I should have leadered it last turn. There's no boiling oil. Yeah, you wouldn't risk breaking the council because you mulligan the dryad. If you draw the other dryad, then you can just you can just council into this dryad. Men of Kedwin, attack! Here your leaders. Do not test my patience. Um, I mean, we should be fine, right? Pride is all we've left. I don't know, this Pawn Keeper maybe is a little bit weak. Like, how much did this Pawn Keeper play for? This Pawn Keeper played for like... Oh, it's a nature card. 
But we also have a nature card here. I played for like five, six. I think like five. I think this pawn keeper played for about five. I mean, this would have played for much better. Well, I guess this plays for 10. Pawnkeeper plays for 5 without considering its nature tag, and Equinox plays for 10 without considering its nature tag. But it's a win. We're fine. We're up like 27? Easy. He has no big dueler anymore. Nice. Very good. That was a that was a convincing win. We committed a lot in round one, but so did our opponent, and we successfully shortened the round enough that our point slam was able to beat his engines in round three. And I don't know if he should have pushed. The push was really weird. Like he played defender, and then he played what like a reinforced ballista, and then he passed after losing his card. The round two was a self bleed. He got, he got two fledglings, which are really strong engines. But those engines, like they would have maybe died. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they would have died. Maybe not. He should save his uh. He should save his boiling oils for the fledglings, instead of. But I mean, I guess he needed to use them in round one to not lose round one on even. What's a good ng deck to climb with? Uh, in our spreadsheet, I like the first two, Shoop Soldier's Ale and Albrecht Green Stodrick. <clears throat> I like those two. Oh, Bounty. Oh, man. This is going to be rough. Okay, I got to change to Fog after this. I don't know why there's why he's playing Frost. Fog is way better. Fog is definitely better. We're playing- we're mulligating Simless so that we can play the Delean in, into the Simless. Okay, uh... Let's play this. Can't bounty it. Hey Wallabies, hey Ash. Thank you, have a good night, Ash. Draw that bandana over your face. Why is it Frost in this list? I don't know. Miamon put Frost in this list. Uh, but I think I'm going to change it to Fog. I think Fog is better. Should I TA? I don't have Purify. There's no Caress in this deck. Uh... If I TA, he poisons it. If I don't TA, he kills it with leader. I mean, I guess he has to commit leader to kill it. I think we don't TA yet. Fog can lose value sometimes, but it's, uh, it helps you kill stuff. It's its value is in, in the part where it helps you kill stuff. Whoever harvests Lee stays in these woods for good. Got it? Okay. Should I kill this, Roland? I could TA this and then play Pawn Keeper. This is a this is a really I saw it was you in late R one and had to lock in. Hey, liberal elite. Wish I played that round two more optimally. GG, liberal. Yeah, I, I do think that you messed up in round two. Round two was like throwing away card advantage, shortening the round for no reason. I think your deck is probably better in a longer round. Yeah, it's Bounty Necker with poisons, yeah. He's leadering it now? Okay. But he should have just done that last turn. Righty, then. Uh, what is this? Is this losing? Yeah, it's losing its thing next turn. 
Let's go. Uh, go here. Or blue coin though. Was the play in the Sims intentional? Yes, it was. Uh, I can kill the Gellert. I could kill the Gellert. Or I could play... Right, I could kill the Gellert with this into this, or I could play Fove into Frost now, uh, and then try to kill the Tunnel Drill next turn. I think the Gellert is more of a threat than the Tunnel Drill, honestly. If this is a 2 to 1 conversion, this is a 3 to 2 conversion. And then the damage, like, whatever. Damage is probably going to be able to kill stuff anyways. We don't have a lot of high base strength units for Bounty. Downside is, though, actually, no, I take it back. I think we want to do this while this uh, fledgling is alive. We want to do this while the fledgling is alive, and then we can get, like, all the, the six vitality from it, click it, and then keep it alive, and it continues to be an engine for the rest of the round. Yeah, I'm wearing a polo shirt today. Not sure what you were worried about in retrospect was a um oh yeah okay because of pushing round two. Still trying to kill this. Fine. He's gonna bank. Okay. Oh oh he's committing the golden necker. Oh. Well, that's a nice combo. He gets the slander into this into anywhere. this as well. Go for that um. Tribute self poison dude. Oh, thanks. I don't think he should have gone for failed experiment. I feel like he should have gone for Abomination. <clears throat> and that's combos really well with the Gellert. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen someone va uh, poison a veiled unit. Thank you. That was very kind. Uh, I think this is the kill here. And I don't think we played this. This is gonna die as soon as we play it. So we don't. We're not in rush to play it. We probably still play it at some point if we need to, but we're not in a rush to play it. Do we need round one with this list? Normally, yes, because this list has no control. It has no hard removal. It has some control in, in, in terms of like damage, but it's really, really lacking in the control department. It doesn't have a heat wave, doesn't have an escal that like some non devotion lists sometimes run. Normally, you like to win round one, um, but it, it also depends on resources, right? He's committed a lot of resources already with. Um, Blindheim Brothers, Golden Necker. But I'm feeling fairly good right now. I, I don't mind continuing to play here. Uh, let's go... This... Nice hairstyle, thank you. He's got a poison from this, but we just don't have any tall units, right? Like, Hamadryad would feel really bad here, because in order to get Hamadryad value, we need to go tall. This was much better. It helped us kill an engine. It doesn't go tall, it has Veil. And they both have the sim similar symbiosis, and I don't need to stack Vitality on this card. Or it doesn't bait me into stacking Vitality on this card. It gives me a 7 power. 7 power with some damage 
instead of a four power with no damage. I guess maybe Hamad rides like a six power because we'll, we'll put a leader charge on it. Death can come where blood there's not. At what point do we pass? I feel like we're kind of getting to the point where we want to pass. I'm just trying to think if we if we played like Cat with your add up tier, this is seven points, eight points, we're still up sixteen. I feel like we'll still be okay. Let's do this. Oh, cabbage. It's still tasty. <clears throat> We're up 16 here, right? No, what, 12 plus... Yeah, 12 plus 4, 16. Plus another, like, 3. Kind of like 19. Could be fine. He's got 3 damage with his blood money. What else does he have? He has like another Executioner, a Candle, an Ignatius, a Caleb, maybe? Candle and the Protecting Caleb is going to be annoying. We might have to like, we might have to Simless for Double Rebuke again, just like we did last game. All in due course. Okay. Uh, so we're up thirteen. But he kinda has like four points here. He kinda has eight points here. It's very deceptive how many points he has. Hmm. I think this might be the time to pass. I feel like the round's probably short enough. What if he's bluffing the poison? He could be bluffing the poison too. Let's do this. He needs 24. 24. He gets 4 from this. He needs 20. 3 from this. He needs 17. Then he needs like a 9. He needs like a poison that also does 9 points. I don't think he has that. Right? In order to get ahead here and threaten to win on even. He needs a poison that also does nine points. He doesn't even have the coins for this. If I had... I was thinking about like vitalitying this thing, but I don't have any frogs next to that thing, unfortunately. Okay. If we play the Philavandral, we win the round, but I don't know if I want to play the Philavandral. I think we just get we just get his last card, we let him win the round. If he wins the round. If he wins the round, do we really need last say? I feel like we're okay, right? We save our Philavandral. Too good of a card to play here on blue coin. Wait, what? What are you doing? That's not eight points, bro. How are you going to get eight points from this card? 
<laughs> um, I know you have Nine Souls and Tales DLC on your to-do list, but just finished a game called Dredge, and it's been a very good time. I've heard of it. Abandon your false gods. Yeah, you're short. That one. He venerates you not are the fire. short. All right, we just won up. We just won the round up a card from Blue Coin. <laughs> oh man, what was he thinking? Got to be some miscalculation that he did with the second to last turn. Thought that he could get ahead if we had passed. Oh man, dude, he is screwed. Right? He's giga screwed. Uh, I need something that I can play though. Okay, I have, hmm. Uh. Hmm. I can get rid of this. Okay, there we go. That's really nice. The only good human is a dead human. Press on the other. <laughs> Oopsies. Any hand is 2 0 at this point. Poison. Okay. Like, I don't even, I don't even really care, right? I don't think we even really care. Oh my god. <laughs> We're feeling better than last few days, Sam. Thanks for asking. I'm back with a cam and mic. It's over. Yeah, he forfeits. He didn't even get, we don't even get to play the Talene in combo, but yeah, it's over. Well, what a game. It's been a while since I've won round one up a card from blue coin. That rarely, rarely happens. I feel like that, ra yeah, that's so rare to happen. Uh, nice, symbiosis doing symbiosis things. The poison into Veil, yeah. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. Thanks, Wallabies. sense trouble. Hey. You're off to watch the boys? Enjoy. Have a good time. I forgot to change the frost again. Okay. Uh, hidden cash? Hidden cash? We need to win round one versus hidden cash. Got like the scenario. Wombo combo. Uh, those mulligan simless, right? We got a mulligan simless so that we can play Talianin. This gets me Tempest. How do I get a circle of life, though? I can't get a circle of life if I want to get Tempest. I can't play this, or I can't play this to my maximum potential. I guess we just open Aquan. Do we buff the Aquan chat? I think we do to play around Junior so that Junior doesn't kill her. Um, but we might be playing the poisons and stuff. Still hurts. That hurts a lot. 
is hidden cash normally devotion? They play like Flying Redanian, they play Blinder's Crew and Forgotten Treasures and stuff. Comes out the Flying Redanian already. Playing carryover stuff, so he might he might just be giving up the round. Ah, oh, I wish I had the Maybe we go for the circle of life if he gives us um Yeah, if he gives us a uh target for it. Might just go for it. Wish we had a... Yeah, I wish we had Circle's Lives now. He's spending? So he... Isn't necessarily just playing three cards and passing? Because if he was playing three cards and passing, he wouldn't spend, right? I would feel like even if he was going to over-profit, he wouldn't spend making his candle worse. <coughs> okay, yeah, he's... Champion, rest now. Okay. Uh. Where's my? Oh, dude. I have the perfect plan. Oh my god, I have the perfect plan. How do we do this? How do we do this? Play this. Into Tempest. Into Biting Frost. Uh, I should have maybe... Uh, maybe this is the wrong order. I gave him so many coins. <laughs> Fucking... This freaking madam got so many coins. Nice fog, by the way. I know, right? Imagine having a fog. I think we do this, and then we Talianin into Simless into Double Circle of Lives. Instead of Double Equinoxes, we go Double Circle of Lives. We kill the Serenity, we kill something else. I guess we kill the Sly Seductress. Although, yeah, we'll probably kill the Sly Seductress. I don't want it to bounce on something that we don't want. Oh, I mean, we only have two units left. The Duchess will be at four. It'll die to the frost. It's fine. This is... Hopefully not too overcommittal. You are no lunette of mine. Why is it still growing? Oh, because I played another unit. All right. Oh, shit, no! Mistakes were made. Never punished, baby. <laughs> Never punished. You told me what? No, 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 no. You didn't tell me shit. I was talking. What I was talking about the never punished thing. I needed to hit the. I needed to hit the non-death blow first, before hitting the death blow, so that I could see where the non-death blow random circle of life buff went. Whether it went on Philavandral or went on the other thing. And then I need to leave Philavandra at 7 and not target him with the death blow one if he got the random buff. This seems mega overcommit. It's fine. Fine, you can't overcommit with Symbiosis. No such thing. This candle is going to be annoying though. I mean, I like all these cards. Yeah, I, I, I like all these cards. The only card I would want to have here is maybe Dwen Canal Guardian. We could get rid of Pawn Keeper. No, we can't. I need Pawn Keeper to kill stuff. Maybe we can get rid of a Rebuke. I bet only one of these Rebukes can be good. 
Okay. We want it. Oh, I should stack range row for this Cowitcher item. Shin definitely got more FU over the years. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. La, la, la. Okay, sure. We want to get a pretty big treant relatively soon, if we can, so that we have the option of using the Pawn Keeper. But we're going to play Call the Force for Fove into... All the force for Fove into Equinox. Or I could play Rebuke. I don't really I want to play Rebuke with a with a treant on the board. So like I'm kind of thinking call the force into Fove into Rebuke. The Rebukes are better in this round anyways. Oh, but I could get Fledgling, though. Fledgling is super good. And I'm not really playing that many units. Like, this can live. I don't care. I don't really care, right? That, like, I... Row stacking, yeah, I want to row stack range row. I mean, we're not gonna have trouble with row stacking. We have double frog mating season. We're gonna we're gonna have trouble with not having enough space. But we also don't have to play those both of these in this round. I do think he was trying to bait with this. This wealth gap's getting ridiculous. Oh, what? Dude, bro. Bro. <laughs> okay. What? What? Why would you not candle there? You have six coins. You gotta save that, yo. I Dwen Canel Guardian MVP. Look at that. <laughs> Into forfeit. Dwen Canel Guardian, the MVP of this deck. Baited into opponent into thinking you don't have rebukes. Oh, because I tutored it. Because I tutored it with Fove. He probably thought I don't have a rebuke in my hand. Wait, no, I didn't tutor. I didn't tutor rebuke. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't tutor rebuke. I tutored um, the fledgling. I was thinking about tutoring the rebuke. But the fact that I didn't kill his bait, his sly seductress bait, was like, okay, well, he didn't kill my bait. He maybe doesn't have rebukes. She-Hulk. Oh my god, she does look like a She-Hulk. But yeah, like, if you really think about it, the Slice Doctress is just not that much of a threat. It's gonna grow by another three. You know? What's the point of killing her? She's like... You're getting... You're answering three value of engine value. When you could be answering a Bincy, which is like 15, 20 value of engine value. Bogs! Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Alright, Ash. Good night. Stay safe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna update the deck spreadsheet with fogs. Since I've changed a card, this is now my deck and not Miamon's deck anymore. Symbiosis. What do you guys think about Pawn Keepers, by the way? Do you think Pawn Keeper should be a 4 P car four power card or a 5 power card? Did Pawn Keeper get unfairly nerfed Let's get to work. for the sins of Equinox and Tempest? Watch you queue into matches where Frost is actually better now. 
Okay, Mahakam Forge. Dwarves, huh? All right. I wonder if we take the Yolo Talian in here. 50 50 into Simless or Philavandral. We're red coin. We don't have Tempest. Eek. No Tempest is kind of bad. It's actually very bad. And also no um no Philavandral in hand to buff with this circle of life. We gotta kill this. The question is what do we buff here? Um so like they sometimes play muzzle. They sometimes play well, they definitely play Eskel. If we want to play around the muzzle, we could buff the Aquin. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. We buff the Aquin. It's kind of the same. If we don't if we don't buff the Aquin, we're probably gonna leader the Aquin. Wanna put for my axe? This is is this worth it? I mean, he, we killed his chariot. Maybe it's worth it. Uh, probably should just play like Dwen Canal Guardian first and, and then Aquin and then see what happens. And I could also switch and pivot and go Dwen Canal Guardian into Rebuke to kill this next turn and not have to worry about armoring. What's a deck for? Uh, what's a good deck for someone to try that hasn't played in a couple years but used to play for another three years? Uh, what decks did you like before? Ugh. I don't really think the rebukes are going to be that good. So I think we take value on it when we can, and maybe we don't even bother with the Aquan in this round. I'm not sure. But killing the engine should be better than playing the Aquan here that might just die to an Eskal anyways. Like I can still we can still fight for the round. We can still fight for the round, but I think we should use the rebuke while we can. Oh god, another okay. one? Holy Jeepus Christ. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Oh dude, what if I What if I put her back into the deck with the Talian in? <laughs> Oh man, that would actually be insane. Uh, but I would have to do that now because there's this, the threat of Dorbin Skirmisher into ping and getting another resilience. If I do that now though, I'm missing out on a lot of Aquan value. Okay, maybe we play Aquan first. Why? You enjoyed Skoyatel and Monsters, you tried a, but you tried a variety. Okay. Um, uh, uh, oh, 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 yeah, he did it. Damn. Okay, but I think that's probably okay. Uh, go here. I think we, I mean, I don't need to buff this to be ahead, but I kind of want to a little bit because of like Berserker or, or like offensive, what's his face? Offensive uh, Scoundrel. <clears throat> I just did homebrews of old decks that you used to like. Since the game puts you back in low ranks, it's a nice opportunity to play some not so meta stuff. For sure, for sure. If you're gonna play not not so good decks, it's better to do it sooner rather than later. Uh for Skoyatel. This might actually be a the deck that we're playing right now, Symbiosis to lead in. Eh, it's not the simplest of decks, but it might be a good one to kind of jump back into things. Um Monsters deck, uh, I think. What's an easy... I think like Werewolf Control could be pretty fun for monsters if you like um, sort of like Point Slam Control archetype. <clears throat> I do like that deck a lot and it's one of the not as strong ones right now for monsters. So it might be like more variety for you to try that first. 
11. I need 11 points. Just go with this. <clears throat> Test out the monster deck to get back into the groove things. Yeah, nice. Nothing <clears throat> Freaking calculated. Oh my god, that's so calculated. What are you? Am I ahead? Yeah, we're ahead. <clears throat> he does have this eight carryover though, even if we went on even. He does have the eight carryover, but we're still looking like we're in a really good spot right now. I've never run from I'm not about to start. I'm getting another two. We need 12. We need 12 to get ahead. Uh, can we do it with a fledgling? Fledgling is six. <clears throat> Seven, eight. Symbiosis two. That's 10, and then Vitality, right? I think it's enough. Oh, I actually should have... I actually should have, um... Maybe... Well, if I moved it, it might have spawned over here, then. If I moved the frog first, it might have spawned over there. They're still ahead? I'm gonna try to win this round without using the Talianin. This is without Tempest, by the way. If if we had Tempest, it would be even more dominant. Okay, nice. Aquan carrying. Aquan freaking carrying. Oh, nice. And now we draw the Philavandral too. We draw the F Tempest Tutor. Wait, we need a Circle of Life. Or we need Tempest. But I need to not draw one, two, and three. And four and five. We have five bricks in the deck. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, maybe... Okay, actually, I think we just don't mulligan. I think we don't mulligan. We go Fove into Tempest. Fove into Tempest. We double fog the front. He wants to stack front row anyways. We double fog the front, and then we, like, to lean into Simless, get these out. And then we just go to round three with Philavandral and Gord and draw a circle of life in round three for Philavandral. Dude, look at the Tempest value. Look at the Fog value, I mean. Right? With Frost, you wouldn't have been able to do this. With Frost, you wouldn't be able to do that. Well, you don't, no, we don't want Frost. Frost would be bad there. Frost would take off the armor and he'd just re-armor. <clears throat> I guess it would then take off the armor again, but he could he could have temperings in his deck. He could have like uh, chariot still. We we just want to kill that dwarf, right? Why does he play this back row? Why not front row? He wants more dwarves. Oh, he wants the armor from the dwarves maybe because of the fog now. Oh, Chad, I have to play another card. To get full value from the Talina, I have to play another card. Oh. We do not want this Fove back into the deck because it has a higher chance of bricking. I think. Do we? I mean, I, I do have three nature cards left. Four nature. Okay, okay, let's put the Fove back. We'll put the Fove back. 
You make sure they don't see you back. Act your age. At two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. <clears throat> Thinking about vitality. Probably one is fine. To save the other one for maybe this pawn keeper. Oh, dude, he bricked. He's uh, bricked. Jesus. Oh, utmost apologies, gentle sir. Jeebus, these are bad. I guess we're playing. I mean, we, we, we can play. We could play Gord. We don't. We don't need Gord. We could play Gord. I'm tall to kick your ass. This Gord is only getting two points better. This this Phil Evandro is getting way better than two points better. And here's the what single armor's workshop. Nice. Whatever, we'll give him a chance to get his dailies, but I don't think he's getting his dailies. He's already played the Dennis. Yeah, he gets 2 0 anyways. Yeah, we just win if we play Phila, but we also just win if we don't play Phila. Like, it doesn't really matter. I think this is like the... Holding the Phila Vandal is like the safer play. Play that should win more often, I think, than playing, but maybe they're they're honestly both very, very close to 100 percent GG. And on a win streak. This surprisingly the Talianin has not been that awkward so far in the first few games. I thought it was gonna be worse. More awkward. But the deck does thin a lot. It does thin a lot to give you the pretty good chances of drawing your fill of Andral, Um, At least by round three. So as long as you draw your fill of Andral and you are willing to mulligan your Simless, then your Talian is fine. But the problem with this, like, one thing is, like, this deck doesn't have backup plan. I mean, I guess you could technically spawn a backup plan from five power... Philavandrel, and then maybe that could be your backup to Leonin target. Like here, do I mulligan Simless? Against Uprising, we need to win round one, and we need to like push out the Silver Witchers in round two. Uh. <clears throat> it's weird. Um... We have... Uh... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... This first? Do we play around Trial the Grasses, chat? If I buff it, it still dies to Eskel and, and Geralt of Rivia. It actually dies faster to Geralt of Rivia. No, wait, Geralt of Rivia has no zeal. But I, I think it's way too cheap for him to kill this with a Trial of Grasses, so I don't want to let him kill it with a Trial of Grasses. The wonders of projectiles and ranged weaponry. Eskel and Professional are more likely than Trial. Can we answer Adepts? Like, we can answer one Adept with the Dwen Canal Guardian. But I don't really know if we can answer two Adepts. So, I, and then there's also potentially Keldar. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuke this, but I feel like we there are too many engines in this deck that we can't answer because of shield mainly. Not even because of power, but because of shield. I gotta play around offerings. These fledglings need to be need to watch out for the fledglings. Okay, all no gone. Bacon bits, no butter. <clears throat> uh. I think he looks like he's passing. Kind of feel like we play Catwitcher Adept or I don't know. Is Pawnkeeper like how good is Pawnkeeper? Pawnkeeper might be good for killing an A aid Griffin Witcher. Or for killing a Kaldar that doesn't have shield, but Kaldar's likely gonna have shield. Catwitcher Adept. Alright, we're gonna play Catwitcher Adept. Blindfold, whatever for. We're still not using the TA. I'm gonna hold the TA in case I wanna use Pawnkeeper or something. Can I come down now? Oh my god, fudge. That's annoying. Ah. I don't have the Tempest again. Okay, um... This. Play around, um... Okay, that's fine. I didn't need this tag, right? And once, once you deploy it, I don't really need the tag anymore. Uh... We just play another Catwitcher Adept? How would I even close my ears? That's just stupid. Offering's a little bit annoying. <clears throat> Can I wave to her? Offering's a little bit annoying here, not gonna lie. What are we offering? What, what do we buff here? If we want to buff something that doesn't get... Man, that's, that plays into Igni. Oh god, that's bad too. Okay, maybe we just doink this? That's bad too. <laughs> they don't usually play Igni, but I should, probably shouldn't have done this. Why am I holding this rebuke? Hey, Dangerston. I don't know why I'm holding this rebuke for. What is this holding rebuke for? Oh, it was um it was like if we get a Dwen Canal Guardian on the board, we could we could Dwen Canal Guardian the shield off of the next adept and then rebuke an adept. That was the thought. I'm committing a lot here. These fledglings are really good. But they might die later. They might die to like a trial or uh or a boiling oil or something. You didn't play uh, Vesemir, that's good. Yeah, I feel like we could have saved this one. Damn it. Like, we got rid of- we used a lot of our engines. Can you tempo pass this deck? Uh, no, I don't think so. Ah! It's really bad. This is really bad. Oh no. Oh man. I 
don't think we win a long round three. Long round three, he's going to get unanswered Keldar, unanswered... Probably unanswered Keldar, maybe unanswered Adept. And then he's going to have, like, a massive Silver Witcher's... Um, Cohen thing. But I can't push with this hand. I'm not going to get Silver Witchers out if I try to push with this hand, though. I think our only choice is to pass. But if we pass, we've got so many bricks. One, two, three, four... We don't have any, we don't even have any of these engines left. Simless is a fifth brick, yeah. Oh my god, he played an Adept though? That's his only other Adept. He has no more Adepts unless he plays Care Seren, which most of these decks don't. Or at least Kerpitan's version doesn't. <clears throat> I'm surprised about this. Okay, 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 okay. The dodge. Oh my god, we dodged the bricks. We dodged the bricks. Oh my god. Wait, this is like a perfect hand. We have Fove into Council into Gord. We've got Talianen into Simless. Th these two get thinned, and then we just don't play this card. Can't see it getting any better than this. Yeah, that's annoying. That kills my Dwen Canal Guardian. Uh I could just fog this row. We just do that. <coughs> I do want to fog both rows to help with killing the Keldar. Although, yeah. Hmm. Ha. Huh. We play this it's getting offering like 100%. Play this is getting offering 100%. The offerings a one. Oh, because they have a lot of uh, adrenaline stuff. They've got a vet mentor they can't play, a Keldar they can't play, a Cohen they can't play, a Silver Witcher they can't play. Like, they don't really want to play a Beringer right now. They've got a Professional and an Eskel they can't play. That's like seven cards they can't play. He's got one more playable card, which is like maybe another offering or a Selective Mutation or something. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. But what do we play here? I still got nothing to play. Uh, I think we play a Pawn Keeper now. And I think we leader this so that he doesn't just get to ping it for free. He might offering this, but that's fine. Then the second offering is gone, then this is going to stick. Or it might, it has a better chance of sticking at least. The offerings the non-symbiosis card okay i think that's a mistake this is only one point less and it has symbiosis uh i don't i, I guess we don't rebuke because then we waste all the fog value why can't i find games there's a bug right now that some people a certain subset of players can't find games it's really weird i'm not really sure what to say sorry uh So we can play Dwen now? In three cards, he's going to play Keldar. He's going to play two cards plus Keldar. So I get to play... I get to play three cards before he plays Keldar. Oh, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. What do I want to do? I want this to be on the board when he plays the Keldar. 
so that I can click this to get rid of the shield and then click Pawn Keeper to kill the Keldar. What the fudge? Excuse me? What? Okay. I get to play two more cards before it plays the Keldar. Hold on one sec. So, what do you guys want to do here? I could click this and go Circle of Life, but if I click this, I lose my way of answering the Keldar because I need to get I need this to get through the shield. Oh, you know what? We could we could Talin in. We could Talin in to get rid of the shield. That's actually really good. What we can circle next turn, but then I don't have anything to play this turn. I can't play frogs. I can't play frogs because she has veil. I don't I can't play this because both of these have symbiosis. I can't play this because this is my gourd. What was that Cohen? Yeah, I don't know what that Cohen was. Like, couldn't he have saved the Cohen for later? Maybe he just had like so much adrenaline stuff he didn't couldn't do anything. You see anyone? You make sure they don't see you back. Act your age. At two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. I'm buffing the Treant so that I have option to take the uh, uh, Pawn Keeper on Treant. I think this is the right time to play the Talinan. This turn where he wants to play the Keldar is when we should play the Talinan. Okay. Hmm. There's still an Eskel threat. Uh... Hmm. How big is his... How big is his, uh, Keldar? Should we be saving this still for something? I think maybe we play Pawn Keeper, Range Row now. We just don't click. They know me. Is pings here. Maybe I should have clicked. If I clicked, I kill this. Oh, okay, no, we get the kill. He doesn't have a shield. That's great. Perfect. Perfect. The windmiller hit you hard. La, 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 la. This is a six. This is a six. I don't think it really matters. With humans, I buy this. Are we gonna run a space? I have how many spaces left? I have twelve spaces left. This is three. That's nine spaces left. This is five. Four spaces left. And this is six spaces? Jesus, okay. I'm out of space. Um. <coughs> I think we just play the frog mating season last and we miss out on some tree answer, miss out on some I think we still do this. Keep a stiff neck. Should be winning by a lot. Oh wait, what the hell did he do? I'm too old for this shit. Oh, now I understand why he coined the way that he coined. Like, look at what it, he, he he buffed his own Witchers out of Cohen range because he he 
because he didn't have any other units in the deck that he could access because he had an offering in round three. His round three offerings, he buffed these two because he's in no way of tutoring anything else. He didn't have his royal decree. He didn't have his plan. Right? So that's why the Cohen didn't work. Jeez. Okay. Uh, a little anticlimactic, I have to say, but I think we were still set up to win even if he drew well. With our strategy of playing the Talianin just before he wants to play the Keldar, making it annoying for him to kill the Talianin, and then he would have to delay his Keldar, and then potentially still answering like a Quen, uh, shielded Keldar, right? Also, the Adept, him playing the, our opponent playing the second Adept in round two, Dry Pass, was a gift to us. The Adept, I mean, how annoying would the Adept have been? Not that annoying. He didn't really have that many students. If we can answer Keldar, he doesn't have that many students with the Adept. But if the Adept survives and copy, like gets a bunch of fives or sixes, then he could get a bigger Cohen. The Adept survives. This NR Witcher deck also has this issue of just like having too many adrenaline cards, and like they can't play half their deck in the first six in the first five turns. They can't play half their deck. I sense trouble. Okay. EQ. Oh. Don't think I want all of these. This is a little bit possible to brick this, but I don't even have the Tempest access right now. I also don't have the Aquan. Like, I really want Aquan, right? No, oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, well, what are we seeing here? We could get Fove, we could get this or this or this. These are all pretty bad. But I think we're still opening with this. Like everything else just sucks. Right head not Fove. But if it's but honestly, if it's not gonna be Fove, this is probably the next best card. Lent what are we up against? Hatterwing? Kiki Queen? Okay, so it's not Golden Necker. Uh, Stalker's next. The Stalker's gonna be 3 plus 5. Wait. Wait, chat. What is- how much does the thing boost by? 4? Uh, Selective Mutation? How much does that boost by? On an insectoid? Not selective mutation. What is that card called? Spontaneous evolution? It boosts by five. So he's gonna be eight power. Can we do this? <clears throat> we do this, and then um, when he plays the, the spontaneous evolution into this, we then use the Pawn Keeper plus a TA to kill an 8. Okay, it's Tatterwing. Nice. Now, do we click this? Because the next card he's going to play is a Kikimori Warrior. Um, and I already have the Circle of Life to kill it, right? <clears throat> and if he has a sp another Spontaneous Evolution to 
buff that, then I can't kill it anyways. I think we just click this. We just want to get rid of units on his side of the board. Yeah, there might be a natural selection if we don't click it. And I don't think her value is that good anymore in terms of, like, reach. Since we don't have the Rebuke anymore, we don't have the Pawn Keeper anymore. You ever play she troll Ruhin Karen Thier Drones Infinite Consume deck? No, it sounds super meme -y. Anything with she troll sounds extremely meme. Ooh, got, got rid of his liability there. But he's used a lot of leader charges. We are down on even with no Aquin. It's kind of awkward. And we have like these two cards that we can't play. <sighs> Do we put them on the same row? Yeah. Wait, no, because I gotta play I gotta play this on the front row. Uh, actually, maybe she just still should have put him on the same row because I can move these frogs if I really have to. Play Phil Evandrel on the front row. We've caught another taskmaster. Setting up for the thing. For the thing. Build a thing. Maybe just pass here. Wait, why don't I just pass here? I do have a pass. Yeah, like, I can't play. If I play, he Lara Dorans us, and we're sad. But, is pass, oh, is pass winning, though? I don't know if pass is winning. But it's not like we have a tall punish to punish the Morvud anyways. We might be able to win with this pass if we can save good short round cards. He plays Lardorn anyways, that's great. If we, if we can save good short round cards like Gord and Talianin the Simless, or like a Philivandrel, I need to get like the good, the good long round cards. I need to get Tempest, I need to get Aquin, and like these fledglings in round two. Okay, okay. Oh my god. This is almost perfect. If we had Fove, it would be perfect. But I cannot mulligan here. It's too, it's so risky. It's so risky to mulligan here, but I have a little bit too many unplayable cards, I feel like. Eh. It's really bad if I draw one of these. It's not as bad if I draw one of these, because I can't play these anyways. I could also draw this, this, or this. That would be amazing. Okay, that's fine. Not a break. It's a playable card. It's a playable card. If he dry passes, I'll be a little bit sad that I mulligan the gourd. So. But I think if he dry passes, I think we can win. With him only having one Laradorn and not two Laradorns. Any way to nerf this deck more? Um, if you wanted to nerf this deck more, I think the best targets would be Hive Mind or Morvud. Or just Tatterwing, I guess, is also an option. Crap. He actually dry passed. Okay. <clears throat> well, then. Is this card more than this card? I can't, I don't really know which card is more points now. Uh, I might have board space issues in the long round three. And board space issues, like if we want, if we're worried about board space issues, the pawn keeper is more of a board space issue because it's two units instead of one unit. Battering power nerf. <laughs> Wow, 
Buff Phila again and take a Shaping Nature instead of Second Frogs. Oh, that's a good call. Very good call. Oh god, I have so many bricks. Can't. Gotta get rid of this. And then we just hope that we don't play- Oh, just don't play Tempest. Okay. I mean, we're not uber bricked. Yeah, okay, and then we can go... And then we can get this to 9 to tutor Call of the Force into Fove into another Call of Force into Gord if we want that many uh, stuff. Well, I don't know. We don't, we don't have a regular frog mating season. Uh, how do I open? Oh, I open with Aquan, of course. Right. Uh, I think they don't have 5 damage. Right? I mean... They might play a parasite, but if I if I leader gets parasited anyways. Heat wave, okay, that's fine. That is fine. Um so we gotta buff these. So that they don't die to natural selection. What? Why do you play this card? They don't play vampires? What? Okay, how do I... I, mean, I, I guess I could frog mating... Okay, wait, wait, how many spaces? I have 15 spaces left. 14, 13, 12, 11... 10, 9, 8, 7, no, no, still 8, 7, 6, 5, 5. Okay, okay, I, I think, I think this is the play. I think this is the play. Um, I don't want it to die to, like, a selection. I was thinking about playing Philavandral for frogs on, like, on this unit, right? But I do think I'm going to run out of space, and I don't think frogs is that much better than taking a Call of the Forest into Fove into Call of the Forest into Gord. I think that's actually better. Gord's going to be 15 points. Frogs is only 12 points, right? And then this is more because it's double. It's got the It's got the Fove body, and it's also got the extra nature card, and it's got the two points from the Call of the Forests. Well, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, let me sing you the song of my people. It's a good deck against NR Defender. Lots of commandos these days, no? There's not that many commandos where, where I'm playing. There are probably more commandos in lower ranks. Commandos is actually not that good of a deck, I think. But it's like the type of deck some people like to play. And like gives you that powerful feeling of like just sticking it to your opponent. They can't do anything about it. I don't know how to describe it. Damn, hey Nate. Guys, what card are we bouncing? If I play Talian right now, it bounces this card. I need to bounce this Cat Witcher Adept, huh? Oh no, I can bounce a... I can bounce a... Sorry, no, 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 no. This is not last played. I can target with this. <clears throat> That's a big cup. Uh, it's my favorite cup. I used to have four of these cups. I've owned them for like 12 years or more. And now they're like three of them broke. And this one is cracked. So that's it's my last one out of the four that I used to have.
Four identical cups, yeah. People like Commandos because it's got one straightforward game plan that's easy to follow, yeah. Run, run. You'll not get far. Uh, I should have saved the thing for that. Oopsies. Blindfold. Whatever for. Should I still rebuke this? I need to play the second to last and this last, right? FP that? What is FP? Force protector? We don't have force protector. I'm thinking we do this. Then we just click that. FP equals rebuke? <laughs> uh, I mean, this is not even a good... Uh, this is not even that good of a Lardorn. It's six, seven units. Seven units. Rebuke will still be good next turn. I mean... Not, it doesn't kill this anymore, though. This now lives and gets three more points. Or four more points. Like, this is not going to be an 8. It could have been a th 5. If we if we rebuked it, it would have been worth 5, right? Now it's going to be 8. Uh, okay, let's do this now, I think. I repeat, we are not taking souvenirs. You are no lunatic. Oh, I should not play them in the front row. Oh god, that's actually a mistake. I just played two units in the front row. It's no, no way we get punished them, right? Yeah, I don't think we get punished. Oh, this is so much vitality now. I, had, I clicked this, clicked both of these early to save them from dying, and now they have too much vitality. I should have put something here or here. What's left? Morvud? Yeah, he has Morvud and maybe a tall punish. More about tall punish. Um, some people play Jotun because they're like kind of crazy. Do you approve of shield wall NR? Uh, in terms of what? Shield wall golden necker witchers. It's okay. I don't. I personally don't think the deck is that good. And, but I don't know what you mean by approval. Like, do you, do I think the deck is good? Oh, he had a he had a brick to Nagelfar. Jeez. Poor guy. Oh. How many spaces do I actually have left? Four? One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so I don't. Wait. So I can't take the Fove. Because if I take the Fove. I will have no space to play the Gord. Yeah, I can't take the Fove. Was that guaranteed? It was, right? Because Waters is now 10. I <laughs> got nervous there for a second. Last month it was not guaranteed because Waters got buffed. Nice, we win by a lot. We win by 25 points in the long round three. Let's go. And that's with Brick Tempest too. Or like, not super Brick, but we played a Fog from hand. We just never played Tempest. Liming. Is Renfrey Nilfgaard good? Uh, Yes, it is. With Reince and Albrick. The one that I played yesterday is very good. We're going first against uh, against your formation. Maybe shoop. Hmm.
Surely they won't shoot me right out of the gates. Right? <clears throat> okay, chat back to Gwent. We can still talk. We can still talk about Elden Ring and stuff if you want or whatever. Uh, I I should be able to play Gwent and not rope out and talk at the same time. The Empire right? will be victorious. Right? Oh my God! No! No! <clears throat> Damn, dude. Dang. He's playing battle stations? It's not the shoop deck. <clears throat> I was thinking about maybe we should play Aquan in the middle. Afterwards, though. Only after the fact. You want to do a mage build into arcane next? Nice. Yeah, I never really did a proper like mage build for Elden Ring. I don't usually do mage builds in Souls like games. Um, I did place. I did use some incantations, like support incantations, um, in my playthrough of the base game in the DLC, but not much on in terms of like sorceries or damage. I felt like if you have to rely on using FP for damage, you just run out of FP so fast, and then you don't have health pots. Yeah, this armor generation thing is actually pretty annoying. They know me. What am I getting with Fove? Uh, rebuke? Or, I guess, frog mating season? Should I... Should I save this for offensive? We are blue coin, huh? Do this. Uh, I can't infuse this because it's locked. I almost did. It was close. Let's do this. And I also can't. I can't. Ugh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we don't double rebuke. We, if we want to play the Taliadin into Simless in this round, we have to go double rebuke because we don't have doubles equ Equinox in the deck. What are they without their armor? Okay, it's time to Tempest. Time to Tempest, set this up, and then maybe go Circle of Life next turn. He's thinking about using another leader? Oh, because he wants to get ahead. Well, he is ahead already right now. He gets three points. Three points from these two. Ugh. Oh. I think we just go Tempest. This might be a little bit bad for my Circle of Life, though, but I only have three units. Like, chances are we, we're going to bounce onto Philavandral. And I can Fove first to get Frog Mating Season and then make it a 50-50. But I do want to play this if I'm ahead. This one's got spirit. Ugh. I'm getting only one point from fog. I need six to get ahead. Yikes. We have like no engine value right now. Okay. <laughs> the 
the weather getting completely stifled by the armor. But fog was still better than frost, right? Frost would have been even worse against this. Oh my god! Speaking of Dead Man's Tongue. New card. Dead Man's Tongue. Why would they play Dead Man's Tongue in this deck? Why do they need to thin so much? Already boost this by eight? Okay. So we just got rid of two 4P cards. <clears throat> Virgin Dead Man's Tongue versus Chad Tempest. Exactly. I This is this guy is offering us a pass. But I don't know if we take it. But this is a really slow play. This plays for uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm up nine. I'm really not up that much. I'm up nine. I think we should play. I think we should play. Oh wait, I don't I don't get any points from this. Oh crap. I should have hit this. I should hit this. I'm not even up nine, I'm up seven. Should I either hit this or hit this? Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. He's got two points from his leader. Mm. Ooh. Okay, a seer. Yeah, like what does he really- Dead Man's Tongue even with double battle stations? Uh, yeah, this should be a pass now, I think. No reason to stay now, at this point. We got- we actually were able to squeeze in a Circle of Life carryover without losing our card. We still have Talina and Simless, Villa Vandral, Ward, and a couple of engines, and the Equinoxes, right? Like, this looks good. We didn't have to- Break one of our, we didn't have to play one of our equinoxes in this round, so we can still simless into double equinox instead of simless into double rebuke. Okay, it's fine. We don't really have much of a proactive play. We have this as a proactive play, and this no, like council as a proactive. Play. This and this. Reality is that which though you believe it no more All does right. not go away. Hmm. Okay. If we do that. I think we lead her. I think we just get ahead here. I don't think we can <clears throat> I think we have a really good chance of keeping our card now if we get ahead here. Back row Bacala. Okay. Don't grow, don't grow, don't grow. Yes. Um. Unfortunately, playing this means that we're not actually staying ahead, but that's fine. I think that's fine. Uh. I do want to keep that at seven. We want to keep that at seven. So we buff. Guess this. Oh, I could have leadered again. I could have clicked this leader on this. Whoops. That would have actually we would have stayed ahead. But I mean it's not the end of the world if he passes here. We have bronzes to get rid of if he passes here. He's playing like 
Carry over, carry over, and then like gonna try to battle stations in a short round three. Still playing. Still not passing. He's gonna play War Council now. Yep, all the carry over. Two legs are four. I never miss, even at full gallop. Okay, I think we should get ahead now. There's no reason not to, I think. But, chat, if we have to commit one of these golds, which gold should we commit first? Oh god, Aaron. It's only an 8 point Aaron Dyke, though. Wait, I need nine to get ahead. Pawn keeper is six, seven, eight. Pawn keeper is eight. Uh, I guess we play this. And, uh... Last leader charge. Okay. None can match the power of Nilfgaard. If I play this, it plays for six, and then I get hit for two, so it plays for four, and I'm still ahead by one. I don't really want to play the golds if he's not using his carryover. Ah! <laughs> the add up the voice line, I didn't didn't know that. Okay, he's all in. Oh. He's just like trying to get a gold out of me. Which it's a good trade for him. And we go Philavandrel here, right? So we should go Philavandrel for back row for um Carry over. Keep a stiff neck. I wanna go for uh, oh I should go front row for salve. Salve is Salve is the best carryover. Yeah. Salve is better carryover than I should go on front row though. That's the exact noise I would make if I were in their situation. Yeah, exactly. Um Hmm. He has a lot of carryover. Oh no, I'm gonna draw all the bricks, dude. No. Okay, okay, okay. One of these three units, not the Equinox. No! God damn it! Oh, this might actually lose us the game. That's we drew a zero. We drew a zero instead of one of these two cards, which is really good. Uh, yeah. The only good human is a dead human. Cut the grid, or I'll cut your gob. <clears throat> The Emperor shall be proud of his sons. Fudge! Okay, he didn't play battle stations. He didn't draw the battle stations. That's good news for us. Oh, garbage. You still taste it. I think we do this now, because we have only three turns to get the vitality. I'm going to leave the one on the board, because I want to bounce that with Talianin. Obedience or the last... Talinan might die. Might have been better to play Talinan first, just because Talinan might die. You want revenge on the Duan? Start by surviving. You are no lunet of mine. Uh, okay, I mean, okay. We're looking good, right? He only ha he's down thirty. 
we still have another like 15 or six like yeah probably we still have probably like another 17 or so nice it's worth 20 all right that's a win that's a win even with the brick it doesn't have enough carryover Ooh. salve mvp dude salve man I wish we could buff Salve's power. <clears throat> if you could buff Salve's power to four, it would be really good. If, uh, but we can't. Because it's not a unit. It's not like Crow Mother that we can buff the power. Um, you can only buff it down to six provisions. And 